Just going to go through the S-Plan wiring sequence and a bit of fault finding a little bit more in depth with hopefully some easier diagrams to follow. So with this diagram, you've got all the cables. So you've got your earths, your neutrals, your lives, your switch lives. You can see on the zone valve, you've got all five cables. Um, but obviously we don't need we don't need to worry about all of those when it comes to fault finding. Um, but what I'll do is I'll, I'll get rid of the earths and the neutrals now and we can go through it that way. So remove the earths and the neutrals just to make it look a little bit easier to follow. So we've got our permanent lives. So the programmer, the zone valve and the boiler all have permanent live. I think some pe sometimes this confuses people with an S-Plan system because they'll check for voltage on the zone valve and they're like, oh, we've got voltage. And then they, they disregard that being faulty when actually it always has a permanent live anyway. So the important cables you'd be checking is brown, which is your feed in, and then your orange, which is after it's made the micro switch and back out. So I mean, fault finding is, is a little bit different, but we can go through that in a minute. But the good thing about S-Plan is it doesn't matter whether it's your heating zone valve or your hot water zone valve because the process is still the same. So it has to go from your programmer to your room stat or cylinder stat, then to your zone valve, then to your boiler. The colours on the cables don't change. Um, it's basically just depending on what room stat and cylinder stat you have and what programmer you have. So we'll just go through some breakdown scenarios as we're entering silly season anyway. So hopefully this might jog your memory when you go to one and then you can look back at the video and think oh yeah that's that's what we need to do so if we turned up to no hot water for example what we could do is first thing i would do is walk into the boiler is there any fault codes on front on the front of the boiler if the boiler just sat idle then maybe it's not even getting the call to fire the boiler so what i would then do is go up into the air and cupboard expose the 10-way and then what you want to be checking is I would probably check for 240 on grey just to check we've got permanent live but you know that should be fine and then you would check your brown do we have 240 on brown if we do have 240 on brown then these two are okay because your hot water on has gone through the cylinder stat and it, it's got to your zone valve and then check orange, we're not getting it on orange, so it's the micro switch, so the zone valve head needs replacing. Or maybe the body, what I'd normally do is flick the head off, just check the body, see if that's okay. And then change accordingly, because then once that gets changed, it'll make the micro switch go down, fire the boiler. Um, and then another one, if you went to no heating, Again, first thing I would do, because you haven't got to get any tools out, you just go and look at the boiler. Does the boiler have any fault codes on it? No, it doesn't. It's fine. It's sat idle. That's fine. It pro it's probably an external control problem. Again, to the 10-way. You can go to the room stat if you want, but... I go straight for the 10 way and then we can see then we're pretty much starting almost in the middle check on brown i'm not getting 240 on brown this time so i know the zone valve can't be faulty because it hasn't even got power to it yet so then we fire back down to the room stat check on the out i haven't got 240 going out but i have got 240 coming in turn the room stat up to make sure it's cooling You can hear it click and a lot of people think oh it's made the switch but if you test here and there's still no 240 this needs replacing we'll replace the room stat um another no heating fault we get to the boiler the boiler's flashing for example it's coming up with a fault code So we know this, this, and this is okay because we're getting 240 on the LR to fire the boiler in the first place. Then the boiler's got a fault on it. So then this is where we're looking for the fault. So it, 
with breakdowns, it's all about localizing the area that you're going to work in. So the point of going to the 10 way is it's almost like a midsection. So you can test to see whether we're going to be going that way to check or this way to check. So is it a boiler fault or is it an external controls fault? So obviously with a lot of programmers and cylinder stats, room stats, you can't, you can't fix them. You'd normally just replace them. If I went to one and for example, turn up to no heating, go to the boiler, boiler's fine. Go up to the 10 way. We've got 240 on grey, that's fine. We don't have 240 on brown, right? Off we go downstairs to the room stat, pop the room stat open, haven't got 240 on the out, don't have 240 on the in. So then we go to the programmer. So what I would do is flick the front off the programmer. I would link live over to heating on, put the front back on. And then I would check here, we are getting 240 now getting 240 there, 240 at the zone valve, phew, boiler fires. So we just order a new programmer and get that replaced. But for temporary fix, if you link live over to heating on, then you're bypassing the programmer, which essentially is leaving it on constant. And then they have control over the room stat, so the heating could come on or off. And equally, you can do the same with hot water, and then it would be controlled on the cylinder stat just gets your customer out of being cold or having no hot water while you while you go and order the programmer really so with an s plan valve you got your five cables you got your neutral you got your live you got your switch live in your switch live out and your earth so for testing don't need neutral don't need earth gray is permanent live which I think if I was to design a zone valve, I would have turned it the other way around so brown is permanent live, but never mind. So just remember, grey is your permanent live, so you'll always have 240 on grey. This does catch people out when they fault find. But brown is your call from your cylinder stat or room stat. So brown, you need 240 on brown, which then powers the micro switch over, opens the valve, sends it down an orange to fire the boiler. So whenever I change any components or work on the wiring, I always check the earth loop after. Better to be safe than sorry. I will be making five of these um, folders of S-plan wiring sequences, Y-plan wiring sequences, and then common things to check on fault finding and things like that. If you want one or you want to order one, just drop me a message or pop a comment and I'll get back to you.